What to look for in the woman of your dreams. Every man desires to have the dream woman. But sometimes men focus, especially in this Instagram generation, on just looks. That they have a certain this and a certain that and lip this and, and body that. But there are three things that are most important that will make your relationship last a lifetime. Remember that you're not looking just for some hookup, some wine night stand, or just the hottest girl. And if you're already in a relationship, you're married, you're dating, you're with someone that maybe has your kids, uh, your baby mama, whatever it may be. These uh, tools and these tips will help you know if this is the right person for you or not. Number one is purity. There's nothing more attractive, nothing more beautiful, nothing more godly than to have purity in a relationship for both men and women. But again, talking about what a man is looking for, what a man should find and should pursue is purity. Purity when it comes to, quote, body count. Purity when it comes to trauma. Purity when it comes to where this woman has been, who she's been with what kind of family trauma she's dealt with, what kind of relationship trauma she's gone through. I'm not saying that those who have been through things are broken and you can't love them or are unlovable. Of course not. I'm just saying you have to be very aware because whatever this woman has been through, she's bringing into your bedroom, into your marriage, into your relationship, unless she has done some healing work with God, with a church, with a therapist, with a trusted friend. Just because a woman gets a new haircut or has kind of a, uh, a born again experience or a, uh, a virgin again kind of a moment or, a, or she's a born again virgin, doesn't mean that she is pure. You have to do the work. Number two, you have to have a woman who serves her husband, who serves God, who serves others. The uh, woman who is pure, and who also loves God will naturally want to serve others. Now, there are some times, there are some times where some women will serve others out of trauma, out of fear, that if they don't do everything perfectly, they'll lose that man. I'm not talking about that kind of love. I'm talking about a love that comes from God. This woman is healing whatever she's been through. If she comes from a great Uh, father and mother relationship from a great home, then you obviously are going to have a lot better luck and a lot better chance to find the right woman. But you have to have a woman who, above all things, loves and serves and gives naturally. That is what women are created to do, to serve, to love, to give. Now, I'm not saying that women can't be leaders or can't uh, be incredible CEOs or amazing women in the workplace. Of course they can. But it has to come from a place of love and of service. To be the recipient, to be the, the one who gives life to her husband, to, to her kids, to her relationships, to her siblings, to her friends, her brother, her mom, her dad. And then the last thing is just beauty and femininity. There's nothing more attractive to a man than to see a woman who acts in a certain kind of way that is kind, that is beautiful, that is attractive, that takes care of her body, of her mind, of her soul, of herself, her appearance in a way that is to attract the men of her dreams. Now, if a woman isn't modest and she just kind of does whatever she wants, flaunts this and shows off that and has all kinds of accounts and things that are inappropriate, then you need to move on. A woman has to be beautiful to a man, has to think of her appearance and take care of herself. And and again, that comes from God. It comes from her nature. It comes from where she grew up and who raised her, what kind of mother and father she had, what kind of siblings, or maybe if she had a brother who helped her. Those, all those things matter. And you can tell right away. Now, a man, because of his weakness, and in the next video I'll talk about a man, he will fall for just access to a woman's body. And he will disregard all these other things that will make a relationship and a marriage last a lifetime. And so a man has to be very aware that he is, is thinking straight when it comes to that intimate act to that desire 
to that sensuality, sexuality, because that's what blinds a man. A man's, a woman's beauty and her, really her way of being can blind a man. A man has to be very, very uh, sober-minded and sober when it comes to deciding who he will be with for the rest of his life. It's the biggest and, and the most important decision a man will ever make is who he marries. And so you have to be aware of that. If you want to be a part of this community, let me know. Thank you for being here. Subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time.